a Virginia couple has turned their teenage daughter into local police after they discovered she was exchanging racy images on her electronic devices. The girl, oh who is 13, had been using her phone to send nude photos of herself to boys, said the parents. Uh, the mother of the girl told WTVR, quote, looking through her phone and the tablet, we did find sexual pictures and conversations that were very inappropriate for her age. Everybody wanted to be her friend because according to these people, <laughs> I'm sure they did. She was cool now, unquote. The mom said the girl received messages from at least one boy who appeared to be in his late teens asking if she wanted to have sex. That led them to contact the Dinwiddie County Sheriff's Office. They took her daughter to the station and turned her over for questioning. Police say they're investigating the case. The boy who sent the messages is believed to be a senior at an area high school, and depending on his age, that could mean felony charges. But now how could he get a felony just for inquiring about sex? Lewd and lascivious, I suppose? That's not a felony, is it? Well, it depends on what you've done lewd and lasciviously. I so I don't know. I don't know the answer. The prosecutor said there are other options available, and the girl may also face charges. In fact, I'm surprised they haven't charged her yet when we've seen multiple stories of teenagers, both male and female, being charged with manufacturing child pornography for taking pictures of themselves and then sharing them with their friends. Now, in a lot of cases, the they will intervene on some of these charges and they will make a deal with the kids where, okay, son, you have to go to a, a, a porn class or something like that, some sort of anti-sexting course. I actually remember I looked up one of these courses after I learned they exist, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I looked it up to see what it, this was like, and you know, it's one of those mandatory four-hour government classes yeah. where they tell you about how bad it is, kids. You shouldn't be taking pictures of yourself because it can ruin your life, and then they give you a 10-question you know, quiz at the end, and you've done your, your requirement right. at that point. So a lot of times they will ask the, the young person to plead to a, a lesser charge and require them to go to a sexting class. So in some cases, doing the sexting doesn't result in a lifetime of a sex offender registry, but in others it certainly could. Uh, disturbing story nonetheless. Yet another pair of parents using the police to solve a problem. Now, it's certainly arguable that it could be a bad idea for your teenage daughter to be putting pictures of herself naked online. But you're only going to make it worse by bringing the police into the situation. Yeah, I mean, the most qualified person to deal with the situation is you. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. You're just the most qualified person to deal with the situation. So I found two things on the story out of Virginia. Found two things. That Which the, one is in Virginia? That's the teenage girl? Yeah, where okay. the 18-year-old asked, you know, would you like to have sex? Right. I found two felonies. Potentially 18. The high school senior. Right. High school senior, potentially 18. If he is 18, there are two felonies that he could possibly be charged with. Hmm. One is titled Taking Indecent Liberties with Children, and it is a Class 5 felony to propose to have sexual intercourse with anyone under the age of 15. Hmm. The other that sounds is like the one. Yeah. Conspiracy to Commit a Felony. Interesting. Which is also a felony. But that's a four, not five. Right. So, so one's a Class 5. It's a worse five, crime one's if a, she says yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> One's a class four, one's a class five. Both are bad, okay? Yeah. Now, would they bring her up on a conspiracy charge as well? No. Uh, in that case? No, because you have to be over the age of right, 18. She'd be the victim. They're just going to punish success. She'd be the victim there. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 